Hello everyone, my name is Vignesh Kumar. Our project name is Design of AMBA Based AHP to ABB Bridge Protocol. What is objective of our project? Objective of project is we will select an IP purpose from the SOC and use that thing to the convert the AHP signal to APB signals with a low, low consumption of speed. Introduction uh, What is AM, AMBA? AMBA. Uh, AMBA is an advanced microcontrol bus architecture. It has three types of bus transfers, where namely advanced high performance bus, advanced system bus, advanced peripheral bus. We will use only two types of um, uh, buses, AHP and ABB. What is advanced high performance bus? How it will be useful in daily life? Uh, AMBA based AHP bus are the suitable for high performance designs like uh, CPU designs. CPU designs are uh, based on AHP signals. It has a high performance, high clock frequency. A APB signals are used for the low frequency, opposite to the AHP, used for low clock frequency and low performance. So it used for the smaller devices like mouse and keyboards. How AHP signals are tra tra can be transferred to the APB signals? Uh, AHP signals are can be transferred to APB signals by AHP slip. Uh, AHP has number of numerous of uh, master slave interfaces whereas APB have only one master and one slave uh, we'll select an AHB slave uh, use the uh, uh, all the masters will send to the one numerous uh, one AHB slave or uh, that AHB slave with is connected to the environment from that environment it will transfer the, the signals to the APB master from that master it will it circulates to the devices What is HP to APB block diagram? Uh, the thin line is AHP signals and a high bandwidth interface, high performance, high bandwidth and microchips, DMA masters. These are all connected to this AHP and the bridge is acted as uh, AHP slave will be connected to the bridge and APB master will connect it to the bridge. Uh, based on the master will send it to the remaining slaves like timer, PIO, keyboards. Uh, these are the advantages and the dis uh, of uh, AHP and APB. These are the signals we are going to discuss in when you are showing the output. Bridge conversion. How it, how will we'll use the code? How uh, will use the code to detect the signals from AHP to the APB signal and first and sequencer sequence will send a sequence item to the sequencer sequencer will add as a sequence number to the sequence item from that it will uh, it will give to the driver driver will send to the AHP slave and uh, monitor will take a uh, sample from the thing so this uh, monitor and sequencer and driver will uh, in, a, in an in a agent one environment from that it will go uh, our agent from a uh, environment it will give to the scoreboard scoreboard will record it uh, take it as a record from that from here signal will convert uh, to the APB signals and given to the APB master interface from that it will give to the monitor a uh, monitor will check the signals and it will give to the scoreboard from the driver and sequencer and memory memory will store the date, given data and when it needed it will send to the monitor and it will uh, same vice versa of protocol it will go to the APB master and my APB master will send the signals to the AHP slave and it will it will be given to the monitor uh, here how you will check it's an accurate or not the scoreboard will, is an uh, judge here it will check uh, whether it's uh, whether it operations are done or not and now we will discuss the programming part. In programming part, test and top and test environment, everything is there. Uh, this thing were taken from the programming. In programming, what will happen means sequence item is generated and it will send to the sequence and sequence will send to the sequencer. In sequencer, it will give a sequence number to the sequence item. 
uh, it will differ for the everything for ahv is an pipeline structure it will have a sequence uh, number and sequence item will, will be start from the same start for app it's non pipeline structure so what will happen is sequence number will start first and sequence item will come next and a driver driver is connected to the sequencer from that it will uh, it will interfere with the ahp and uh, ahp app interface is again uh, from the other side of the design and design is plays an important role here design uh, will connect everything in a uh, all automatic way so that it will uh, work effectively and agent 2 is an uh, program that will connect the app side and memory is used in the app side that will have here so everything here is con directly connected to the design and uh, now let's run the program and show, show, i'll show the output now let's go the output in output uh, class signal is there The clock signal is used because it's an asynchronous circuit. This signal will clear the previous outputs, and the 32 one, 32 byte of padder is used here. And P uh, bus bus uh, bus signal is used for the uh, how much signal will, will be transferred at the uh, second of time. A two byte of bus data will be given, and P uh, byte data is used. Byte data is used because it will uh, give the synchronous output and p read p read data is here given because read data will give the uh, what 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 the given it's uh, it started and uh, here uh, most important thing is selection data uh, selection data will always be one with selection data is one and uh, write data zero uh, because we uh, it will not change the output we are not giving the input to change the its a values so write data is zero read data is uh, give, given one because we are giving the frequency data so it's one and p data is given and slave ahp acknowledgement uh, its acknowledgement is used uh, to it has taken the value so when it select data is started to raise and every signals will be getting started when select data is not raised because it will not start when select data is raised then the selection the signals will start permitting and here 101102 and uh, here the signals and the here the output signals so it's the output